Hey, welcome back. This is Mike from Digital Offensive, and you're watching my path to the OCP. Today is day 20. Um, so basically, this video is covering days 15 through 20, uh, about a day behind my videos. Current time, I got about 19, out of, uh, 19 boxes so far, almost a box a day. Uh, over the last few days, I have enumerated uh, the IT network a bit, a little bit. Um, there was a box that kind of gave me a hint to start poking at that, and then I realized I had the information I needed to be able to pivot into that network and started trying to figure out uh, how to get around it. I did not get to look at uh, IT network last time I was in the labs, so it was kind of interesting digging in there. Um, spent maybe a day on that right now, nothing compromised within that network yet. Um, <clears throat> also dealing with the cold, so I apologize if I sound hoarse where I look like uh, crap right now. Um, don't get out of the house often because I work at home, so I picked up some type of bug, and I've been dealing with that for a few days now. Um, let's see where we're at. So, uh, a couple of little tips here. Check out a tool called SQSH. SQSH. Uh, I believe it comes pre-installed in Cali. If not, check online for it. It's a great tool for uh, MS SQL uh, to connect to databases and use XP command shell. And it's a little tricky though at first. Um, let me bring up a notepad here and see uh, if I can show you a couple things in here. So this tool is great to connect to the XP command shell if XP command shell is enabled. And you can figure out if that's enabled through some enumeration processes. Um, here's some notes from last time. Let's delete those and we'll just type in here. So the tool is called SQSH. So if you do uh, man uh, SQSH, you'll see a list of all the commands for it. But the ones you're really interested in is sqsh u uh, sa p the password dash h um, the host. So let's say 192.168.1.31, for example. And when you hit enter here, this would connect to the database. And once on the de database, if it works right, you'll be prompted with something that looks like this. Doesn't really make much sense at first. You're probably gonna try typing commands like id and nothing's gonna work. What you need to do here is XP underscore CMD shell space um, parentheses uh, or uh, double quote, sorry, and your Windows commands you want. <clears throat> and then after you do that, you'll get a line like this. They'll say two, and all you do here is type go and then hit enter, and they'll execute your command. Now, if it executes your command, it'll tell you command execute uh, successfully, and it'll return null. Null means everything's good. If it returns error or any other value, bad. It means something happened to your command, it didn't work. So, the best way to use this is a lot of the Windows machines you'll encounter um, that have this vulnerability, you'll be able to log in nine out of 10 times, uh, you'll be NT authority. So from there, you can escalate uh, and add yourself a user account to the box. Um, if cert util is installed, you can use cert util to download a uh, payload from your machine to get a reverse shell. If cert uh, util is not there, you can try PowerShell. Um, most of the time so far, you'll find another way in such as RDP. So if you add yourself to the box, grant yourself admin access, um, and then basically RDP into the box, you can connect, <clears throat> which is great. Um, then you have basically a GUI access to the Windows machine. You can poke around, dig around, check everything out you want. Um, what else have I checked out so far? Um, I got a great tip the other day from um, my friend Erica. All right, so I learned this cool trick the other day from uh, one uh, this girl I know, Erica. Uh, she's over on the offensive uh, security study group over on Facebook, and uh, I was having some issues where my shells were double typing. So, like, if I type the word ID, it would be I I I D D D or something crazy like that, and I kept having all these issues. So we all know the simple tricks to get full TTY using like Python or other tricks. Uh, I showed you my favorite website, NetSec, uh, with his TTY cheat sheet. Love that. <clears throat> but there's a really awesome trick on here, uh, right here. So basically, let's say you're having this issue with your terminal settings, right? And things you're typing just looks crap, or you want to be able to fully use VI if you or any other editor you want. Uh, I, I like VI, so that's why I say VI. Uh, or if you want to be able to use tab complete, or if you want to be able to hit backspace without all these errors come up on your screen, 
you gotta check this out. So basically, let's say you spawn a netcat shell, right? So we have our netcat shell, and all we're gonna do here is basically we're gonna type it, uh, hit Control Z, and that's gonna put our netcat shell into the background process. So it doesn't close out your session, it keeps it running in the background. And then on our local terminal, we're gonna type in SCT uh, space roar dash, uh, uh, sorry, SCTY space roar space dash echo, or just copy and paste right from this article. I'll link this article in to the video post and then hit FG. So FG brings your background process back to the foreground. Now you're gonna have your shell. What you wanna type there is reset. When you type in reset, it's gonna say term equals, it's gonna ask you what terminal. And this is where these directions are not 100% clear. What you wanna do here is copy X term 256, this line, paste that in there and hit enter. Then after that, you wanna type in the export shell equals bash and export term equals X term dash 256, and you're good to go. Don't worry about SCT rows. Um, I didn't have to use that yet, but just going through that process, I said, that'll give you a full on shell, like full TTY, backspace, um, tabbing, uh, ability to use up arrow, down arrow, everything you would normally get if you SSH directly into the box. Great tip right here. This little section of code can save you hours. Um, with that being said, um, see, so I said 19, out, uh, 19 machines so far on day 20. Um, things I really need to focus on, I really need to get back into the book. Um, I haven't really looked at the book or watched the videos again since I started. Very bad. Uh, I need to refocus that. Um, I'm also running a little bit behind because we're now back in work. Um, we're, we're no longer on vacation, so I basically work my full-time job now, plus try to study uh, on the outside, plus family life. And then on top of that, I'm getting sick. So that's not good. <clears throat> With that being said, I'm gonna wrap up this video today. Um, didn't have anything crazy to go over. Just wanna give you guys a quick update. Um, hit me up on the OSCP study group over on Facebook. Uh, if you have questions uh, that I can answer, remember we can't share information. Hit me up on the OSCP forums. If you're trying to join the OSCP study group uh, on Facebook, make sure you answer the darn questions, please. <laughs> Uh, as mods, we go through and we read through all your posts that you guys post in there. If you don't answer the questions, we don't let you in the group. We try to keep, keep the riffraff out and those who are really interested in the certification uh, in the group. So with that being said, I have a great day. Make sure you like the video, share it out to your friends. Until next time.